Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new feature in Good Guardians on One UI 7 here on my Galaxy S24 Ultra, and that pertains to the display. Um, so I have Good Guardians downloaded here. Um, you can find this in the Galaxy Store, not the Play Store, but the Galaxy Store, um, so the one that is just labeled Store on your device. And when you download this, there is uh, all these different modules here that you can download additionally. And um, you can do like Thermal Guardian and this will show your device temperature and stuff like that. Um, and it will give you like little tips and tricks and uh, show you your threshold, your CPU usage and temperature and stuff like that. So uh, that is pretty cool. Um, you can see I had my phone plugged in and charging um, and the temperature started going up and now it's unplugged and the temperature is going back down. So you can set the thermal threshold and choose what the phone will do to cool down. Uh, but that's something that's always been here. Um, so that's not what we're gonna talk about today, but that's just part of what Good Guardians is. Um, so if you download Battery Guardian right here, you're going to see these screen power saving options that say supported by display assistant. Now display assistant is new and it is currently in beta. So if you tap one of these and you don't have display assistant installed, um, it will take you to the Galaxy store to download the beta version of display assistant. Now um, display assistant can be found in can be found in Good Guardians under the family section right here. You'll see that pop up once you download it. Um, but I did go ahead and add it to the home screen so it is right here under its own app icon. And what I wanna show you guys is some of the new features here in this. Like I said, this is a beta and this only does work with One UI 7. So if you're on the beta, you can try this out. Um, but if you're still on One UI 6, uh, this is something to look forward to when you get that One UI 7 update. Um, so you can choose screen timeout individually per app. Um, so we'll go ahead and check one here. And we'll just try the, let's see, what's an app that we don't want the phone to time out on? We'll go to, um, where's YouTube? Let's go to YouTube. And these are so, uh, separated by app category, not uh, alphabetically. <coughs> I might have passed it. Nope, here it is. So it's under video players. So YouTube. And I think you can choose, um, can you choose? No, you can't choose video players as a whole, but... Um, so you can choose the screen timeout options here, so individually per app. Um, so if you have an app that you like to have on screen longer without interacting with it, you can set it like so YouTube won't, the screen won't go to sleep for 10 minutes while on YouTube. But then once YouTube's closed, it'll revert back to your settings that you have set in your regular settings page. Um, keep screen on. Um, you can set a... Uh, thing right here to keep the screen on for 30 minutes uh, just by pushing one button. So maybe you want to do a presentation, maybe you're a YouTuber like me and you're showing your phone. You can choose that and your uh, your screen will stay on automatically for 30 minutes just one time instead of you having to go in and change your screen timeout settings and then change them back later on. Um, the brightness profile right here is two, there's two profiles. There's your standard one, which brightness is limited at high temperatures. And then there is light, which brightness will be kept up at high temperatures, but the device cools down slowly. So you're basically what this is saying is the phone will not reduce the brightness if it's trying to cool down. Now, I don't know why that's called light because you think light would be cooler and the screen brightness would be dimmer, but it's kind of backwards in my opinion. Um, light means that the screen will not dim in high temperature situations. So there's that. And then there are adaptive brightness options. Now, I don't have adaptive brightness turned on, but you can change the speed at which adaptive brightness changes the, um, the speed at which it changes the brightness, um, depending on the surrounding environment. And you can also reset the usage pattern right there. Like I said, I don't have that turned on, but that is an option available to you. Standard refresh rate apps. So if you have apps that um, you don't need to run at a higher refresh rate, again, same kind of menu here as the uh, timeout options, but you can choose apps that you want to use in standard refresh rate rather than the high refresh rate. If you have high refresh rate, rate turned on um, in your default settings, this will limit those apps to the standard uh, refresh rate of 60 hertz. They won't go up to 120, which can save you battery life. Um, so if you have apps that are just, you know, you know, still images, you don't need that higher refresh rate. Go ahead and turn that on and save yourself a little bit battery, a little bit of battery. And then we have screen curtain right here, which is a mode that puts the screen in a dose state when the app operates for a long time. Um, so like during calls, playing games, um, or it does not operate when during calls, playing games or on YouTube. Um, so basically it just kind of puts your display to sleep, um, but it leaves the app running in the background, I believe. So you can leave apps running, but turn 
kind of, kind of turn the screen off without locking your device per se. So that is Display Assistant. Like I said, if you tap this button up here, you can also add it to the home screen if you don't, if you don't already have it on there. So I've got Display Assistant right there um, for easy access. But then, like I said, of course, you can access it through Good Guardians. And you can do that for any of these apps. If you want like Thermal Guardian on your home screen, you can hold it and add it to the home screen or Battery Tracker. Uh, whatever you want to do, you can add you know, any of those to the home screen. So that is a new feature coming to your display on One UI 7 with Good Guardians and Display Assistant. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.